when it was apparent that 21st century was starting to run into some financial issues, I said, well, why don't you do Captain America? He thought about it and he said, well, I couldn't come up with a huge budget for it, like Superman. And I said, oh, but he's not Superman, you know, he's a regular guy. And if you can make this movie, you could probably save your company. <laughs> They were very excited about this strange oddball take on a superhero story in which it was really anti-corporate and it was about the corporate takeover of America and the chip being planted in the brain of the President of the United States to control him. Congratulations. Hail Hitler! He basically cash flowed the movie where he could through foreign sales and we would take a suitcase around the different countries in Europe open it up and have, I want the foreign buyer in that territory to throw cash into the suitcase and take cash back to uh, Yugoslavia where we were shooting. Sometimes on a film, lightning strikes and for no particular reason that anybody can understand, everything works. And sometimes the, the dark lightning strikes and for no reason that anyone can understand, nothing works. The ultimate battle for justice is about to begin. Captain America. We had to cut out all the action. And then towards the end of the film, we shot days with no film in the cameras. We just pretended like we had film. And then we would say that the film that night went to the lab and was ruined. And we had to come back the next day and shoot the same thing over again. We had more film. Suddenly we had film. You know, we had just enough short ends to make it through. <laughs> The script as written was not shot. I'll come and get you when we get out. What, are you kidding? I'm not bailing out on Captain America. Let's go. For the things that don't work in the movie, I would say that the things that were shot and the things that weren't shot are about equally to blame. The Americans have made a poor choice for their champion. There's not much you can do if, the, if you can't afford to continue shooting. They had to cut things together with what they had, rather than say, let's do the entire sequence as it's written in the script. Uh, and that hurt. With the Red Skull, they just painted makeup on Scott Pollan's face, and it's just for today's fans, and even for those days fans, not good enough. There were a lot of places where they didn't have material, so they'd have to just cut and hope that the audience could follow it. <laughs> I went to a screening. It was not a happy experience for me. I, I, um, I was comatose when it was over, and several friends had to physically, physically carry me out of the screening room and take me to a sushi bar next door and pour sake down my throat to revive me. And now I send our tortured souls to rest. Speak for yourself. <laughs> what we and the actors really pulled off was quite a miracle that they didn't bail on the thing. So I consider it to be a real achievement, something that I'm proud of more than I'm embarrassed by.